This is Credit Matters, and I'm Greg Moskowitz, the Global Fixed Income Research Group. Global Weakest Links climbed further in December to 195, and were last higher in March of 2010 when the count was 203. The oil and gas sector has the most weakest links at 34, followed closely by financial institutions at 33 as of December 14th. Historically, the financial institution sector generally accounts for the most weakest links, partly because a large proportion of issuers rated by Standard & Poor's are in that sector. However, the oil and gas sector has taken the lead as drops in oil prices affected the profitability of oil and gas companies, where spreads have widened considerably, increasing default risk. Weakest links are issuers rated B- and lower with either negative outlooks or ratings on credit watch with negative implications. These issuers on the lower end of the speculative grade spectrum are poised to be downgraded and have greater default risk than higher rated issuers. Our weakest link study breaks out the characteristics of these high risk issuers by sector, region, history, and more. The 195 weakest links have total rated debt worth approximately $234 billion. The number of global weakest links increased to 195 as of December 14th from 187 as of November 19th, with 17 additions and 9 removals. We incorporated the list of the 250 top corporate obligations held in rated U.S. cash flow collateralized loan obligations, otherwise known as CLOs in our weakest links research. We found that seven of the 250 companies are weakest links. The oil and gas and media and entertainment sectors have the highest concentration of weakest links with three issuers each. The ratings on the seven issuers that overlap with the CLO list range from single B- to double C. Of these ratings, three are rated B- with one each rated triple C+, triple C, triple C-, and double C respectively. This has been Credit Matters. Thank you for watching.